Ready to unleash your PC's full gaming potential? In this video, we're diving deep into powerful tips to optimize your Windows for smooth, lag-free gameplay. If you've been struggling with stuttering or slow performance, we've got just the solutions you need. From tweaking system settings to optimizing game performance, these quick adjustments will take your gaming experience to the next level. Stick with us for the entire video and get an exclusive bonus tip that'll boost your system even more. So, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Let's get started. In the first step, we will optimize system performance by properly allocating memory usage for background services, reducing unnecessary resource consumption, and enhancing overall system stability. First, open the Windows search bar and type Registry. From the search suggestions, click on Registry Editor. A prompt will appear asking for permission. Click Yes to proceed. This will open the Registry Editor window. Now look at the left-hand menu in the Registry Editor. Locate H key local machine and double-click on it to expand the folder. Within H key local machine, find the system folder and double-click on it. Inside the system folder, look for current control set and double-click on it. Now locate the control folder and click on it once. Once you have selected the control folder, look at the right-hand side of the registry editor window. You will see several registry keys listed. Here you need to find a key named SVC host split threshold in KB. Once you locate SVC host split threshold in KB, double click on its window. In the value data field, you will need to enter a specific number based on the amount of RAM installed on your computer. If you have 16 GB of RAM, enter 1 million. If you have 6 GB, 8 GB, 12 GB, 24 GB, or 32 GB of RAM, refer to the list provided, which you will see on the right hand side of the window. Make sure you enter the exact number corresponding to your RAM size. For example, if your computer has 16 GB of RAM, enter 1 million in the value data field. After entering the correct value, click OK to save the changes and close the registry editor. Now we will disable several unnecessary background services that consume system resources. Disabling these unwanted services can help improve your computer's performance by freeing up memory and CPU usage. To begin, click on the Windows search bar and type Services. From the search suggestions, click on Services to open the Services Manager window. Here you will see a long list of services running in the background. Many of these services are not essential for regular usage and can be safely disabled to enhance system efficiency. I have already created a detailed video on this topic, which you can check for a complete list of services to disable. However, I will still guide you through disabling some of the most common unnecessary services. First, scroll down to the B section and look for BitLocker Drive Encryption. If you are not using BitLocker, right-click on it and select Properties. In the Startup Type drop-down menu, choose Disabled. Then, click on Stop to halt the service immediately. Finally, click Apply, then OK to save the changes. Next, scroll down to the C section and locate Connected User Experiences and Telemetry. This service collects and sends diagnostic data to Microsoft, which is not essential for system performance. Right-click on it, go to Properties, set Startup Type to Disabled, click Stop, and then apply the changes. Similarly, find Distributed Link Tracking Client under the D section. This service is used in network environments, and if you are not on a network that requires it, you can disable it the same way. Right-click, go to Properties, set Startup Type to Disabled, stop the service, and apply the changes. Lastly, scroll down to Windows Update if you prefer to manually check for updates instead of having them automatically downloaded and installed. Right-click on Windows Update, go to Properties, set Startup Type to Manual or Disabled, and click Apply and OK. After disabling these services, close the Services Manager and restart your computer to apply the changes. Now guys, download this Advanced Windows Optimization Pack on your PC. Simply go on my official website and download it free. After download, extract it on your desktop and open the folder. Inside the folder, you will see several folder. First, open the Registry folder. In this folder, you'll see several registry files. Install them one by one. After you've done that, go back to the main folder and open the Windows Commands folder. In this folder, you'll find some commands that are important for adjusting settings in Windows. Open and apply these commands one by one. These commands will help improve your system's performance. Now we use ShutUp 10 application. When you open the app, you'll see that some options are already enabled. These are the app's recommended settings, but you can turn them off if you don't want to use them. If you've used the app before, it will notify you of any changes made and you might and you can choose to either accept or revert them. Keep in mind that certain Windows updates might reverse some of these changes, so it's a good idea to check back after updates. 
There are two main tabs, Current User and Local Machine. In the Current User tab, you'll find options for Privacy, Activity History, Clipboard Settings, App Privacy, Microsoft Edge Settings, Synchronization of Windows Settings, Cortana, if you're still on Windows 10, Windows Copilot, User Behavior, File Explorer Settings, Lock Screen, Search, Taskbar, and Miscellaneous Settings. The Local Machine tab offers similar options but with a few differences, including additional security settings and Windows update configurations. Before testing any changes, you can export your settings and import them to another computer. Once you make your changes, you can apply the recommended settings, green, recommended and somewhat recommended settings, yellow, or all settings. You also have the option to undo all changes and create a system restore point, which is highly recommended. Now apply the recommended settings and close the app. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Next, you need to adjust the virtual memory for better system performance. To do this, open the Windows search bar, type Advanced System Settings, and click on the Wolf Matching result. In the System Properties window, click on the Settings button under the Performance section. Once the Performance Options window opens, switch to the Advanced tab. Under the Virtual Memory section, click on the Change button. Here you will see an option labeled Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Deselect this option to manually configure the settings. Now select your local disk C, as this is where the virtual memory will be allocated. In the Custom Size field, set the initial size to 1361 memory, as this is an optimal value for performance. For the maximum size, you need to calculate the appropriate value based on your RAM size. Open the calculator on your computer and multiply your total RAM by 1024 to convert it into megabytes. For example, if you have 16 GB of RAM, multiplying 16 to 1024. Now divide this number by 2 and this value should be entered in the maximum size field. Once you have entered the values, click on the set button to confirm the changes, then click OK to apply them. Virtual memory is a feature used by Windows to supplement physical RAM when it's fully utilized. Now let's tweak the core isolation settings to give your gaming performance a boost. If you're looking to maximize your performance, you can temporarily disable core isolation. To do this, simply search for core isolation in the search bar, navigate to the memory integrity section, and toggle it off. However, keep in mind that disabling this feature lowers your system's security, so it's highly recommended to turn it back on after your gaming session to keep your system protected. That's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe for more tips, and as always, peace out.